So I ordered some more stuff from that Temu website again. And they had, they had, they don't have much gun related stuff, but they do have a few things. And this actually it caught my attention. It's a bag of Gundam pens, and I initially thought they'd be tiny. I don't know why. I thought they'd be minuscule, like, like a small little, like a flag pen sort, but no. They're actually a decent size. So I figured, why don't we look and see what they are exactly? I don't really remember. I paid about, I think, seven or eight dollars. Which, I mean, Gundam pens are interesting. You don't see a lot of those, at least from what I like, from what I've seen anyways online. And these are actually really good. Um, the quality is. I thought they'd be poor. I, I mean, for eight bucks, I wasn't really expecting much, but that, that's a good Wing Zero custom looking. It's got a cool hexagon look on the back. I'm probably put these on like a bag. Uh, we got the Scythe Hell Custom. It's a little squished. Um, chin should be red, but you know I'm not gonna be super picky on these. But you know, it's gonna point it out. We got Barbatos. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Probably four and four. Uh, but that middle piece should not be white. Pretty confident in that. Should be uh, all yellow, but whatever. Unicorn. Unicorn looks pretty good. Um, the chin is like a little weird. It's like black here, but red on the top. Don't really know what they were going for with that. I guess they're all. Well, that has two, has two of the pens. I guess it is a slightly bigger head. I don't think I really needed two. Whatever. Uh, we got. Okay, Astray Red Frame was funky. That is definitely stylized compared to the other ones. Once again, that chin should be red. The V fin, I like the detail though. It is different, but I, I do kind of like it. But if that red had been on the chin, I think I'd like it a lot more. And. Oh, that is the Strike Freedom. You can tell from that uh, triangle forehead jewel. Looking good. It even has some shading in there. I haven't. I don't think I noticed much shading on the other ones, but it has it around the uh, the cheek armor. That's nice. And we have. Well, okay, the banshee. That makes sense. We uh, do have the unicorn. Oh, it's different actually. These are not the same. The uh, the banshee one's more round. For the unicorn one, it looks more accurate in terms of the like the more oval shape. That's different. It also has two, but they're really, really close together. And finally, another little two. Oh, the granddaddy. The R72. And it has... It looks like weathering on the uh, piece. It looks like they try to do that. Like, do a little bit of, of touching here and there with them, like lines to make it look like it's been worn in battle. That's alright. Um, yeah, I guess they did try to do some shading with the jewel, but the eyes just look really dark. Because there's just one solid color. I, I would have made it like the chin. But, I mean, and, you know, this is cool, I think, for eight bucks. Seven or eight bucks. What was it? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, one, a dollar piece. I think that's okay. So, I mean, I just thought I'd show them off because it's just a short little video, but why, why, why not, right? I mean, I like them stuff, and I'll probably put one of these at least on a. Uh, on my bag I use for work.